spatchcock turkey with the chestnut and sausage stuffing. I brined this turkey, and if you have time, that's terrific. The brine is so simple, you'll see it online. It's just a little bit of apple, lemon, fresh bay, crushed garlic, cider, salt, sugar, and water. So you just dissolve all that together, double line a large brining bag, it will hold a 10 to 12 pound turkey. And then we take, when we're ready to roast, a little softened butter, salt and pepper all over both sides. And then I sprinkle on Bell's seasoning, like from back in the day when I was a little girl, I love Bell's poultry seasoning. And I'm gonna take the bird and bring him over to sit on top of the apples. So there's thick slabs. There's thick slabs yeah. of apple underneath the turkey itself in the bottom of the pan. You can add onions and all that stuff, but we've got a beautiful stuffing going with this. You're gonna get all those flavors anyway. Just keep it simple. I just throw a lot of apples in there and a little touch of stock to keep it moist or water even is fine. Um, just to keep the bottom of the pan a little bit loose. So we have our turkey ready to go. Throw it in there, hon, will ya? Okay. Now, if you're making a whole turkey, it's 325, right? 15 minutes for every pound. When you make a spatchcock turkey, it's center oven 400 degrees until it reaches 165. In the pan, we're making a chestnut stuffing. Of course, you don't have to use pork in this dish, but we're going to because John likes it. Thank you. So we're gonna add, we're gonna add to a couple of apples, a couple of ribs of celery and a large onion, cooking up in some butter and olive oil. We're going to add a pound of Italian sweet sausage with fennel. This liquid, it looks like uh, some brandy or Armagnac or something. It's just water. We soaked some really good fancy prunes to put in with the stuffing because it tastes so delightful with the apples and the chestnuts. I'm gonna add garlic, but if you wanna keep it sweeter, you don't have to. But we put garlic in everything. So. Everything. Everything. So now for the stuffing, uh, honey, show them the, the toasted bread on the back counter. We have a combo of white rustic and sourdough bread that we toasted up. I take the Old Bay, give it a sprinkle. And I add a little salt. And I add fresh herbs, parsley, bay, uh, uh, sage, rosemary, thyme, you know, just like the song. Uh, and you throw it into the pan. It's salting the shoulder. I know, whatever. So then we get in our prunes. Now the chestnuts, you can buy fresh chestnuts this time of the year. Give them a little soak and then score the back of them with an X and roast them until their shells just pull away and they expose themselves. Then you need to peel them and chop them. or you could buy them in jars or cryovac packages, already roasted, and chop them up. That's a good idea, too. <laughs> so, we've got chestnuts. We'll put a little bit, let's save a little bit to put on top for garnish. That's cute, too. When we get the, everybody kind of into the ball game here, right? And the sausage is browned up at the edges. Then we're going to add the calvados. Now, if you never cook with spirits and you're a little afraid of it, pull the pan off the heat for a sec, add your spirits, put it back on. And all you need is a splash. You're not adding half a bottle of brandy. There it goes. There it is. Isn't that fun? I know. It's super fun. Okay, so now we're just going to take the bread and start adding it in. And we're going to add the stock and get it nice and moist and then put it into our baking dish lined with a little bit of butter. So I'm dotting the top of our chestnut stuffing and then a little extra of our roasted chestnuts on top. Throw this into the oven, please. One over here? And we're right here. Oh, okay. Uh, and we're going to get that nice and crispy on top in the buttered casserole dish. Here's what it looks like. This Woo. is one of the two uh, spatchcock turkeys. Like, so if you're cooking for a crowd, you need two 10 to 12 pound turkeys. This is one 12 pound turkey all, uh, disassembled, I, I guess you could say. And then here's our beautiful chestnut and sausage stuffing with the Calvados. 